So Nagel's rule is a way to calculate the estimated delivery date, so basically the due date of a baby. And so how are we going to do this? Well, it's going to be based on the first day of a woman's last menstrual period. So you ask them the first day of their last menstrual period, um, and with that information you can go ahead and calculate their estimated delivery date. So let's say they tell us it is uh, March 3rd, 2022. So what are we going to do to calculate this? The first thing you want to do is go ahead and subtract three months from this date. So going from March back three months, February, January, December. And then after you've done that, add seven days to that date. So adding seven, we're going to get December 10th. And so to figure out the year, sometimes um, you will have to add a year uh, or it depends. For example, in this case, we don't because the average pregnancy is about 40 weeks. And so it would make sense that this would be 2022 and not 2023 because that would make this pregnancy longer than a year. So you just have to be aware of that when you're adding the year. Um, most of the time you will have to add the year, um, but in this case we don't. So this is going to be the estimated delivery date if their um, last menstrual period, the first day of their last menstrual period was on March 3rd, 2022. And so let's go ahead and do another example. Let's say they tell us it is uh, June, uh, June 10th, 2022. So following the same rules here, we're going to subtract three months. So June going back is going to be May, April, March. So March, add uh, seven days, March 17th. And then we're going to add a year for this one, and that would make sense. Just double check that uh, with the pregnancy being about 40 weeks. So this would be the estimated delivery date if the first day of their last menstrual period was June 10th, 2022. And so a way to remember this is just remember that you need to subtract first. So subtract three months, and then we're going to add. Add the seven days, and uh, sometimes you'll need to add a year. And that's how you get the estimated delivery date using Nagel's rule.